Alright, pretty nice to see area. You see my uh, Twin Powers 5000. Coastal 11 footer. Okay, this morning I am fishing with the Shimano Twin Powers 5000 with Jerry Brown Ray, 20 pound. I got me a 11 foot Daiwa Coastal. I'm using a hammer bomb. This is a one and a half ounce. Now over here, um, it's kind of shallow, it's like four feet deep. If you lose use lead aids here has a tendency to get to the bottom faster which means you have to increase your retrieval rate when you do that sometimes it's a little bit too fast for the fish to catch these things are not neutral they're not buoyant they're not negative they're slightly negative which means when it hits the water it'll start to sink but very very slowly so it'll keep it off the, the reef it's a good thing to use um, bubbles work very well here and if you see that video I did with the um, DD fill bubbles that'll work here also but I'm going to give these a try this was a gift from um, Bill Newton the, the developer of the hammer bomb so I'm going to give this a try today okay I got a 12 pound floor leader trying a trapper hook with a CHL grub that is a prototype so I'm going to give it a try today The winds are against us, so I'm going to be looking directly into it um, fairly hard, like so. You can change your retrieval rate, like from this to sideways motion, doesn't matter. It's always nice to keep changing up though. This area looks good for bonefish and trevally. There you go. Well, you know, I tried the uh, two ounce hammer bomb. It got caught on the reef here a couple times. I had to increase the retrieval rate because it's only about four feet here. And when you increase the retrieval rate, uh, it does affect how the fish chase down the lure so i went down to one and a half for this type of area where there's a lot of reef the uh, one and a half that's pretty good it didn't hit the bottom one time so i'm going to stick with the one and a half okay i'm going to whip out the one and a half Alrighty then. 
stay hooked up. You cut something, you stay hooked up. Not too big, but got something. Yee-hee! Coming in. There he is. Got a super PO. Super. Okay. That is a nice little omilu. We're gonna release it back into the water. There you go. There you go, Delta. Woo! There he is. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Okay, as you can see, I took a hammer bomb flash bomb. It comes with the swivels on both sides. So I've added on a hyper wire, as you can see, number four. The number four is rated for 50 pounds. All right, so I added that on. And then onto that, I've added a ball bearing coastal snap swivel, also rated for 50 pounds at the end. So what's going to happen is this end here will go to the main line. And because my preset leaders have swivels already on it, it's a lot simpler if I just open it up and, and put a swivel on it. And as you can see, everything has ball bearing swivels, so the line's not going to twist up in any way. These are all motion activated. Some are a little touchier than others, but um, it will work. So, and I've heard nothing but good things about this. So what happens if you want to make one, get your flash bomb. I'm using one and a half. Okay. And then what I do is I get my split ring, the types you use for plugging. Use the split ring pliers. Open it up. It's, you know, give it a little bit more room. There we go. Okay, just got it in there. Now we're going to use, you know, nose. Thread this through. There, see, all done is on. So now we want to put the um, coastal lock snap onto this. So we do the same thing, and, I, and there's no real easy way of using these type of pliers. But yeah, after a while, I guess you develop a hang for it. I haven't. So let me see now. Got the split ring pliers. We opened up the split ring just a hair. I'm gonna put the um, try to get this in there. Okay, just got a little bit of it on it. That's all you need, just to get a little bit in there. There. Now we can thread it through with the needle nose. There. All done. See. So what we're gonna do now? Because like I said, this end over here will go towards the main line. We have the other swivel here that comes with it. Okay, we put a hot hyper wire split ring on it here. Then we added on a coastal snap. And from here, um, since my leaders are pre-done, I'm going to open this up and just add on my preset leaders to this. Because um, it has a um, swivel on it and do whatever type of setup you want on it But I used to do about eight feet of mine just for nighttime whipping and That's basically it Cool huh?